Hello, brothers and sisters. I hope everybody's having a wonderful Sabbath day and a wonderful Mother's Day. I wanted to share a few Ward family announcements and I wanted to share a short Mother's Day message as well. Before I jump into the announcements though, I should mention that we are intentionally keeping this short so we don't elbow in and take over your home-centered study. We hope this clip and uh, the other videos that we send around might just be a supplement uh, to your home centered study. As for the announcements, as you might have heard, Elder Tanner Hunter and Elder Spencer Peer, who are both serving full-time proselyting missions in their assigned areas in South America, returned home a few weeks ago because of the outbreak. They are currently waiting reassignment here in the United States. We'll keep them in our hearts and in our prayers. Sister Shelby Simpson also is, is scheduled to begin her full-time proselyting mission in about two weeks from today. Uh, I'm recording this um, a little bit uh, before Mother's Day. Sister Simpson will begin her MTC training remotely. I asked her to prepare and record a message for us, which she agreed to do. Uh, I hope to be able to send that around very soon. By the time you are viewing this, uh, maybe we already have. Anyway, we wish her the very, very best, and we will be keeping her in our thoughts and prayers, too. And let's be sure to reach out with email messages and letters as often as we can. Since we stopped meeting together, a few people have moved into the ward, and we received the records for a few other brothers and sisters. This includes Lonnie James, David Luttrell, Maxine and Donald Curtis, Anita Hammerschlag, and Patrick and Michelle Reagan. If you sync or update your LDS Tools app, you should be able to find them in the records. I hope we can reach out to them and start to get to know them despite our visit restrictions. Finally, some of you have met Brother Pablo Estrada. Brother Estrada has been studying with our full-time sister missionaries and is planning to be baptized. Because of the pandemic, we will not be able to invite the ward family members to join and view his ordinance in person. We will try, however, to set up a Zoom meeting or a Skype video call or some other means so that our ward family can participate remotely. We hope you will be able to get to know Brother Estrada very soon, and we all look forward to getting him integrated into our ward family over the coming weeks and months. As for the message today, I felt very strongly to say a few things about a mother we all share, a mother to whom we all owe so very much. My hope is that this reflection will enlarge our gratitude, our happiness, and uplift our spirit. As a bonus, our knowledge and understanding of this mother is yet another example of the wonderful truths that were restored through the modern revelation as part of the restoration of the fullness of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So I hope this reflection also enlarges our gratitude for the restoration. In general conference last October, Sister Bonnie H. Corden, Young Women General President, announced the new Young Women's Theme. There were several subtle yet powerful differences between the previous theme and the new one. One difference that is significant to me is found in the opening line. The previous theme, as you may recall, begins with this phrase. We are daughters of our Heavenly Father who loves us and we love Him. The theme announced last year begins this way. I am a beloved daughter of heavenly parents with a divine nature and eternal destiny. In addition to changing the language from third person to first person, the new theme references our heavenly parents. The new theme thus expressly includes a reference to this mother we all share and whom I would like to highlight today, our mother in heaven. We are all familiar with the hymn, O oh My Father. The lyrics were written by Sister Eliza R. Snow, an impressive poet and a giant figure in the restoration of the gospel. As the title implies, the first two verses of the hymn focus on our Father in heaven 
and they speak to how our testimonies of him are not so much a learning or discovery, but more of a remembering and a recollection. In the third verse, there seems to be a pause and a shift, as if Sister Snow and us are recollecting an even greater piece of truth in real time. In the middle of the verse, she stops and asks a question followed with the profound answer. In the heavens, are parents single? No, the thought makes reason stare. Truth is reason. Truth eternal tells me I have a mother there. We understand from counsel from then elder Gordon B. Hinckley that we do not pray to our mother in heaven, but that does not mean she should not be part of our religious pondering. As we read in the family proclamation, we inherited our divine nature and our divine destiny, not just from our Father in heaven, but also from our Mother in heaven. A few years ago, Dallin H. Oaks taught us, our theology begins with heavenly parents, and our highest aspiration is to become like them. What might having a Mother in heaven mean for all of us, men and women, as we strive to improve ourselves and as we strive to live up to our divine potential. I hope we spend some time thinking about that and pondering that. In addition, our prophets and apostles have taught that our Heavenly Father and our Heavenly Mother work together for our salvation. President M. Russell Ballard, for example, taught us that we are part of a divine plan designed by Heavenly Parents who love us. At the least, I hope we all continue to develop our appreciation for, our love of, and our connection to our Mother in Heaven. This revealed truth gives me a lot of comfort and joy. I hope it does for you too. I hope we continue to cultivate a longing to return not just to our Father in Heaven, but also to our Mother. Going back to the hymn, Oh My Father, Sister Snow reflects this longing and this swelling in our hearts in the fourth and final verse. It concludes this way, when I leave this frail existence, when I lay this mortal by, father, mother, may I meet you in your courts on high. I hope we keep our mother in heaven close to our hearts. I know this will do us all a lot of good. I say that in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. Again, we wish everybody a great Sabbath and a great Mother's Day. As a bonus, President Peart also prepared a short video message for us, which we'll try to merge with this one. Finally, many of our ward youth wrote original poetry on the theme of mother. We put together a clip of them reciting their poems. I think they're wonderful, and we hope you do too. Again, have a wonderful day. We will see you very soon. Mom, you are the best. There simply is no test. I cannot tell a lie. I hate when you say bye. Your, hug, your hugs are so warm. They'll protect me from any storm. When I'm feeling blue, you make me go, Yahoo! I love you. Hello, my name is Ava Sheen, and I'm going to be telling you my poem called Mother's Day Isn't Cancelled. Mothers out there, thank you for dyeing our hair. Thanks for getting Disney Plus. That was a must. Thanks for helping out the school, even though you didn't get it and thought you looked like a fool. Happy Mother's Day to you. I wish I could have taken you someplace new. COVID has come and people can't have fun. People are stuck at home and feel like they're done. Mother's Day is here and we can cheer. Our mothers have one special day once a year. I do not fear, my mother is here, so I can celebrate this special time of year. I love my mom, she does her part. I love her with all my heart. Hi, my name is Henley Packer, and this is my Mother's Day song called A Mother. A mother would go through rain or wind or snow, just so her child knows that she loves them. My love for her is not mild, in fact, it's pretty wild. I know I'll be with her in heaven above. Even when I make a mistake, she'll be here to the end, and mother, I know your endless love is a gift from above. These are my haikus. Um, 
Friday morning watching TV and playing, but then we do school. She wants the house clean. Nonetheless, we disagree, but we still love her. What can I say about my mom, Shalane? Being her son is kind of insane. She works so hard and she laughs a lot, but if you think that's impressive, you should see her squat. She's always there with a kind word and a hug, and when times are hard, she makes me feel loved. At night before bed, when we're whining, whining and moaning, she's always there with some melatonin. I love you, Mom. You're the bomb. Happy Mother's Day. Hi, I'm Maggie Hunter, and the name of my poem is Mother, I Love You So. Mother, I love you so, all the way from your head to your toe. You are such a blessing in my life. You are not only an incredible mother, but an incredible wife. You work hard all day, but always find a time to play. You party and party, but you also work very hardy. I wish I could explain how much I am truly grateful for you and how much I love you. I have a happy Mother's Day. I really hope you do. I love you, Mom. Mwah. My name is Blue Packer. This poem is named Never Blue. Blue is not blue when I am with you. When I am sad, you make me feel glad. My mom is so cool, you never knew. Her eyes are deeper than a pool. I bet I love her more than you. She's still nice when I break the rules. Don't hurt her or you'll be the fool. This is the end of what I have to say to you. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Mom, I love you for everything you do. From filling my tank and being chill too. You really know how to party. You're very understanding when I'm curfew tardy. Mom, I just want to say, I'm sorry. I know you deserve more than this. With all the stuff you put up with, and I don't want to list. Happy Mother's Day. Everything you do is more than just okay. My poem is called My Mother the Songwriter. She's the only one that helps me when all is wrong. She makes me feel like it's all a song. Her love the harmony, her kindness the tune. This song lets me know that her love is true. She's a glowing sun after a stormy day. Her love is all that radiates. To my mother, my friend, my songwriter too, happy Mother's Day to you. Thanks mom for everything you do. I will always love you. You're there when I am scared. You make me feel prepared. If I do bad, you always make me feel so glad. You never get me mad. You're so rad. You're the best mother to ever have. Hi, my name is Isabel Pierre and my poem is called My Mom. My mom is a very special one. She cares for us from day to dawn. I can never thank her enough for loving me so much. I'd like to thank my mom for everything she's done. She's the greatest person to ever exist. I love you, mom. You are the best. Hi, my name's Anna Ferraro, and this is my poem titled, My Mother. She comforts me when I'm scared. No one else compares. She wipes away my tears. She kisses me goodnight and she removes my fears. I close my eyes and sleep peacefully and sound, knowing she loves me, knowing she's around. That's why I love her now and forever. Thank you, mom, for being the best mother ever. I call my poem What Mothers Do. God gave us mothers to turn people from rocks to gems, told them to help them be flowers. You are the stem. You took one look at the standard and decided to go above them. You are always the first one to agree with me, even when I messed up, you still loved me unconditionally. You always helped me see what I could be, always quick to forgive when someone was sorry. And even though you have brought me so far, you apologize thinking you have not met the bar. But I wanted to thank you for being just who you are. Hi, my name is Ali Bowles, and this is my poem, Happy Mother's Day. Mom, you make my whole day. Mom, you will make me want to say, hip hip hooray and happy Mother's Day. Mom, you make me feel okay. Mom, you make all the bad things go away. You work so hard every day. Mom, you may not want to pay the price that you may, but you do anyway, so happy Mother's Day. Thank you. I'm Maddie Bowles, and my poem is You Are My Everything. Mom, you are the best. You never rest. I feel so blessed to have you as my mom. I love you forever and ever, and you will forever be the most amazing mom. You mean everything to me. I'm Reese, and my poem is A Mother's Love Never Fails You. A mother's love never fails you. She has faithfulness in all her little acts, knowing by faith great things are brought to pass. Her soft words give me comfort when I'm hurt. I'm a better person because of her. She says the right things when life brings me sorrow, reminding me we'll always wake up to a new tomorrow. 
So loyal, humble, meek, and true. A mother's love never fails you. My poem is called All the Things I Love About My Mom. My mom knows best, and who knew someone could be so blessed? Someday I hope she'll know that tomorrow I'll be loving her more. She always catches people who fall, but who knows if she'll answer my phone calls. Everyone thinks that their mom makes the best food, but mine does. She's one to clean everything and anything, but in between, she always takes care of anyone. I can always depend on her to turn on the best tunes and help me with all my problems so soon. I love when we watch movies, especially when we make fruit smoothies. We always finish each other's sayings, and she n always knows what I'm craving. I know that this rhyme won't make up for all the times that I've taken her for granted, but I hope it will leave her with a long-lasted smile. My name is Truman Gaumeister, and my poem is called A Mother's Love. Out of everyone important to each person, old and young, one figure always stands out and reaches out. A woman of grace, comfort, and love, the person who helps us no matter what. Though our dreams may seem unattainable, there is always one figure who believes in us. Though there is a bond through blood, she chooses to love us anyway, surpassing all other attachments. No one has taught us more how to talk, walk, run, have fun. She teaches us how to pray and gives us the world and a place to stay. These women care and always have and always will. She is. She is faith. She's my source of hope. When I'm drowning, she helps me float. She is shelter. She keeps me safe and sound. Brings me comfort when none's around. She is pure. She fills me with the spirit when I cannot hear. She is opposition. She brings enlightenment, spark, counters melancholy as a spark. She is grace. Keeps us fed. Protects us in bed. She is gratitude. She thinks of others and heals her suffers. She is home. Always there when I'm alone. She's selfless, she's beautiful, she's my mother. Lauren, and my poem is called Let's Thank Mothers. Mothers are wonderful caregivers in all. They work tirelessly for all. It is one of the most important calls in life. They constantly pick up those who fall. They come in all shapes, some are small, some are tall. Regardless, they are a blessing for all. Mothers are the best of all. This Mother's Day, let's be sure to thank them all. Hi, I'm Macy Whitesides, and my poem is called The Greatest Mom of All Time. She is there for me through everything, through laughs, smiles, and tears. She has always believed in me for all of my years. Whenever I am around her, I get an instant smile. And when I go anywhere, her love comes with me all the while. She helps me to be the best I can be. She helps me look forward when I can't see. In my times of trouble, doubt, and fear, she comforts me and is always there. She has taught me about the gospel of Christ and always brings the spirit into my life. Without her, I would feel lost and alone, for I know I can never make it on my own. And though I try to let her know every day, I love you, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. I'm Angelica Jordan, and my poem is titled Mamon, which means mom in French. And it goes like this. However shall I pay you back for all you've done for me? You've nurtured me and cared for me since I was a baby. You've held me when I've cried and told me everything would be okay. And you've reminded me how good it feels to live each single day. You've taught me a lot and I'm so grateful. You put up with me when I'm being hateful. And I know I always put up a fight, but at the end of the day, you're always right. Mom, let me just say, you're the bomb. No one can top you off, not even from Vietnam. Mom, you do so much for everyone. I'm so glad to be your son, and I know most of the stuff you do is easier said than done, but we appreciate all the stuff you do for us. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. I love the way you motivate me, especially the way you provide comforting words of encouragement when I need them. I truly enjoy when we procrastinate Going to bed when it's late. I love when you demonstrate the strong and powerful leader you are. But most of all, Mom, I love the way you illuminate when you provide support that I need to reach my goals. I love you, Mom.
Happy Mother's Day to my beautiful mom. You are great.